what's up YouTube it's Torn coming on to another episode of our Feed the Beast Let's Play and today we're going to be making a blast furnace and a uh, a coke oven and I'm also going to show you the sorting system I set up for our little turtle over there but first of all, let's go. I've already gathered the resources for these two and put them in my project table. So, as you can see, um, I got these all set up to do the coke oven bricks. That gives us the those, and then we need to make. Um, We gotta make ourselves uh, some lovely magma creams first, and then we gotta do salsa and need nether bricks, which I'm pretty sure it's like this. No, there. Yes, blast furnace bricks. And that should give us just enough of those. So now I put over I made an area over here where we can build these. So we're gonna put the coke oven here. And I think the middle one here needs to be empty. short yeah yeah three by three is what needs to be so yeah that's right three by three one, two, ah. There we go. I was trying to build it too tall. Which, actually, um, I'm going to build it equal because I want them to look the same. I don't want, it, I don't want one to be taller than the other. Aesthetics. You gotta be picky sometimes. Let's see, which means I need something to fill that in with. Cobble works. There we go. Beautiful. Now we have a cocoa. And here we're going to do the blast furnace. And there we go. Blast furnace is done now too. Just, I think it puts the, um, yeah, it puts it down there, so you can't see the actual little furnace thing, but that's alright. <laughs> we all know what this is. And we'll have those two there for now until we don't need them any longer, then we'll eventually take them down. <laughs> But for now, we're going to need them. And you can start converting my coal for me, because we're going to need that. But yeah, so I went ahead and uh, I was working on gathering those resources. That took a little bit of effort. 
Um, especially those blaze rods. Um, wasn't too bad. Uh, but give me one second here and we'll head over to the other location. Alright, I went ahead and slept real quick. Um, and you, as you can see, I have, I thought I heard them somewhere. I have a couple more villagers that spawn somehow. He's the one that was in my thing, but there's another one that spawned. Um, but anyways, we're going to head over here to the uh, turtle. It's my nether portal. I wish I knew why we put the nether portal markers in the overworld. You shouldn't do that, at least in my opinion. But I actually invested in some blutricity. Um, to help with the sorting, so I'm using pneumatic tubes for sorting. Well, I might need a little bit more light over here. There we go. Um, but yeah, so I have a pneumatic tube sorting everything. Um, it comes down here. All the power comes down here to this sorting machine. And the sorting machine is just pulling out of the iron chest here as they should all drop stuff off into it. Look at all the lovely friends down there. Where's the turtle lot anyways? Mr. Turtle, where are you? I know he's down here somewhere. Excuse me. I know when I logged into it, I had to reset him, so he's probably still trying to get back down to the proper level. Yeah, all right. I don't know where it's at. Uh, he's here somewhere. But yeah, so basically as he brings stuff in, it sorts it. Like, uh, let's see. Um, not there, but there. And I have it sorting it out by stacks. So as a stack comes in, it pulls the stack out, sends it this way. It comes up here. And it goes into whatever container is first available for it, which is one of these. Yeah. I don't know why it's not displaying those. No, no, no. I'll take my torches. I'm um, not sure why it's not displaying the image of images on these ones. Let's see, maybe if I take it out and then put it back. No. Hey, look, iron ore. Yeah, for some reason it's displaying it on some, but not on all of them. I don't quite understand why. Uh, it might be just a graphical bug. Maybe if I log out and log back in, it would fix it. I look. All right. Trying to get a better view down here. See if we can see the turtle. Hopefully he's not stalled somewhere. That would be kind of bad. I don't want to have to go fetch him. Too many uglies down there. And this big ravine kind of makes it difficult to uh, traverse the area down here. Without risking my death or some such. 
He could also be stopped on a mob somewhere that's not moving. Oh well, I'll come back and check on him in a minute. And if you heard the tiger growl, that would be my wife's text messaging on her phone. Or notification sound, I should say. Uh, but yeah. I gotta finish my wall here soon. And eventually I need to create an automatic farm so I don't have to manually harvest these. I don't mind harvesting them, but yeah, if it was automatic, it'd be a lot easier for me. What do you got for me? Ah, you're the useless one. Uh, but so far, we have uh, the coke oven going now. Uh, the blast furnace I'll be using to create some steel. Let's see if we can start making some more uh, items. And bauxite. I can't remember what because I want to make a uh, industrial like industrial electrolyzer. I think it is. Uh, there's a few things that I want to make. Yeah, as you can see, I still have quite a bit of clay left over as well. All right. Um, so yeah, I got to figure out what I'm going to make next. Uh, what I'm going to do next here. Um, equipment wise and then uh, I actually need to build a new building here too I need to build a nice place for some of these machines that one that building works but I want to do something a little bit bigger for them maybe over this way in this corner here make a bigger building that we can use for uh, storing and housing the machines in a more orderly fashion. Um, this is going to get crammed really fast. And I want to kind of make a, uh, a better building for doing all this in. Uh, so that's probably going to be the next big project. You know, there's no place to save here for you. Oh, my Bluetricity furnaces that I had the alloy furnace in to make the Bluetricity stuff. Um, then I have a few things up here I store. Like there's my nether brick, soul sand, nether rack, extra brick. That. Uh, a few of the bas basalt cobblestone that I harvested. Uh, so I have a few things up here still on my pulverizer. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to figure out what to do next, and then I'll come back to you guys. Um, and either uh, I'll either show you what I'm going to do and like, plan it, or I'll actually do it. Um, I'm not sure yet, it just depends on what I plan to do. But I'll be back with you guys shortly. Alright, everybody, I'm back. And uh, I did find the turtle, finally. He's doing his uh, his rounds. He's almost down to where he'll be collecting again, but not quite. I just saw him a minute ago too. Come on, where'd you go, buddy? Uh, there he is. Still moving. So he's here. Um, but what I've decided is also why I was uh, waiting. I started breeding uh, sheep and cows. I'm going to need the sheep for their wool and definitely going to need the cows for their uh, leather, among other things. And the beef doesn't hurt either. Um, so I made two little pins here. For the cows and the sheep. But what I've decided is um, I've I decided I'm going to build a giant storage room slash machine building over yonder, um, right over here in this area. 
And I have your siblings locked away. Come here. Nothing, jerk. Uh, but I figured I could build a uh, a decent sized building. Oh, he did drop me something. A decent sized building here in this space. Um, or in this corner of the area here. Uh, built a decent building. I'm going to draw it out on paper first. So that way I can make sure it looks decent design wise. Oh, I think my hand just hit my mic when I rub my... I feel like I had a... You know those scratches you get in your nose that drive you crazy? Yeah, I had one of those. Anyways, uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to build it right over here. A nice good sized building to house the storage of everything as well as um, storage machines and uh, what I'll do is I think I'm gonna I'm gonna use a turtle and excavate the size of the building however big I make the building I'm gonna make it use a turtle to excavate down all the way to bedrock for that that size come here Mr. Cow hiya Gotcha. First hit. Woot. And that way, um, I have room to grow the building if I need to down. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but that way, uh, we can, um, if I wanted to, I could put the storage on like the second floor. I could build a single level building up top and then take it down with the storage and whatever else we decide. Uh, I think that might be the better way. Instead of going up like that, uh, I think I'm going to take it down and and uh, do some clever some clever building underground or something. I don't know yet. I'm still uh, in the design phase for it, but I wanted to let you guys kind of know what I was thinking. And maybe you guys can give me some comments or suggestions. And uh, I still need to finish caving in the area. We've got plenty of weed though. It'll come in handy breeding the cows and the sheep. Uh, that is a definite plus. Uh, see, I don't want to give him emeralds and gravel for flint. I don't need that. You useless, buddy. I do, on the other hand, want to, to start using uh, miscraft. So I think between the design phase of the building and actually building it, I may uh, start doing some mistcraft stuff. I'm thinking I might turn uh, one of these other houses into a mistcraft house. Or I'll build my own little mistcraft building. I'm not quite sure yet. Because I'm keeping all these safe for the villagers that are hiding in them right now. Uh, but I may... Actually, I haven't really had too many issues with zombies spawning in the uh, in the village. So maybe I'll actually convert one of these buildings over to... I'll just use this building for my, my miscraft and let these guys out and put them in another building. That might be what I do. I will figure it out, but in the meantime, uh, I think I'm going to call the episode here today, you guys. Um, I'm going to get started on drawing out the diagram for the building the way I want. And once I've figured out how I want it to look, maybe I'll uh, scan or take a picture of my drawing and put it up as a link. Or uh, I'll just um, lay out the floor plan in dirt and cobble and show you guys. And then I'm actually probably going to build it out of uh, basalt and cobble, I think. It just depends. I gotta figure out what I like. I mean, cause that doesn't look bad either. It just depends. I don't know. I gotta figure out what sound, what what'll look really good. I like the basalt cause it's a darker color brick. Um, so I gotta figure out what I wanna put that with. It looks good with this, but at the same time, you can make it work with this too if you use like the uh, basalt stone instead of the basalt brick. So it's really going to depend. Oh, hey, look. 16 of those. Nice. 
Um, furnace, yes. And then I still gotta build a few more machines. I need a rolling machine and a couple other things because I want to start working on getting some solar panels built. Um, for a little bit better electricity. I mean, the the water mills they're they're great and all for some small machines, but in order to really take advantage of the electricity, I need to build something better than water mills. I mean, I, I could have water mills going all the way down to to bedrock, but. I don't think it's worth it. I think what I need to do is uh, build some solar panels. That way in my next building over there, I can integrate the solar panel roof into it and have the entire roof solar panels tying into a bunch of uh, bat boxes and MFSUs and such. So I will... Uh, I'll be working on that, and I will let you guys know how the progress goes in our next episode. Thanks everybody for watching, and take care, everybody. Peace. Okay, one last thing before I'm done for the day. Um, I went ahead and uh, dug out a room down here for the enchanting, because I noticed I have 33 levels, and we don't really want to lose that. So, um, probably should make another diamond pick and enchant that. Uh, even though we don't have a lot of diamonds, it would still be better to do a pick than anything else. Yeah, I do have some wood on me. Alright. We need a good work pick anyways. Let's see what we can get. And... Uh, we'll go with that one. Very nice. Very, very nice. So it's not efficiency, but we can always get an efficiency enchantment and add to it later. That one's almost dead, but I'm not too worried. With the fortune pick, we can go pick up some... Uh, we can go mining, look for some diamonds, and use the fortune on it. So I'm, I'm excited. So it should turn out pretty well. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be really done now, you guys. So, But anyways, thanks for watching. And I hope you guys are enjoying the series. And I will catch you guys in the next episode. Take care, everybody. Peace.